What is up, you guys? It is Parker here with Deco What's Exchange. Up, Y'all, we've got another great tutorial out today, and I just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to our channel, like the video down below, and at the very least, y'all, leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Let's see. Hope you enjoy. So we're gonna use this to make a quick um, grapevine wreath. Yeah, so, um, this already has um, holes in it. If you wanted to, you could use the cable mount ties or you can just use a pipe cleaner how I'm doing now I am attaching my sign first because I want to make a bow and then fill in with some greenery I just attached my sign to that grapevine. So next I want to make a bow. So I wanna make a tail, pinch, make a loop, pinch and twist, make another loop, pinch and twist. What's up y'all? Kinda of just gauging where I want it. Cause I want my bow right here with some um, florals and some greenery. So I did add that emerald green, but I also like adding this lime green because it just gives it that extra little pop. So this one's gonna be a super quick and easy um, design. Now, I don't get to do very many St. Patrick's Day designs personally. Perfect. Y'all know I'm a zip tie person. I love my zip ties. So I'm gonna zip tie this. Shut. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I fluff out all of my ribbons. My tails are going which direction I want them to. So, done that. So, I want my bow kind of right next to my sign. Normally I would have it up here, but because this is a smaller grapevine for me, I want this bow, but right here with my tail going down and then we're gonna add in some 60919 and then some greenery. I mean, this is just how I make my bows. So I would just call it a Jordan bow. So now I've added that bow, cutting that tie. Yeah, look how pretty that already looks, and I haven't even dovetailed it. So I'm gonna dovetail my ribbons. So 
So even this right now is a really great stopping point. Look at that. That bow with the sign and you're done. But also in Coach Jordan fashion, we're always gonna be extra. supplies I'm using can be found at decoexchange.com so now I'm just getting this greenery and I really like this greenery because it's really nice and um, fresh looking it's got the it's got the dark green and the lime green mixed into it so it's like a variegated greenery So look how quick and easy and simple that was, y'all. That didn't even take like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. 